Hi brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm very excited to be bringing to you this video. A sister in Christ named Pamela, she shared with me a near-death experience of what her grand grandmother-in-law experienced. But before I talk to you about that, I want to encourage you guys, um, if you're not a Christian, please look in the comment section of this video because in the comment section, uh, I always upload a long comment that has a bunch of evidence for Christianity. So please read that comment and examine it. And if you are a Christian, please spread that comment. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. Now, getting on to Pamela's grandmother-in-law's near-death experience. Um, what she wrote to me was very short, so I'll, this video is probably not going to be long. So please, I encourage you guys, watch till the end. She wrote, near-death experience. My grandmother-in-law told me her testimony of how she got saved. When she was young, she had a miscarriage, miscarriage, and because of blood loss, she died momentarily. And while she was dead, she saw herself going down straight for a lake of fire. She clearly saw the lake of fire burning. So when she saw, so when she saw it, she screamed, "Jesus, help me!" And immediately she woke back in her body. She had been an unbeliever. But after this experience, she decided to get saved. She has been saved ever since. So what an interesting testimony and wow. So what was interesting about this is that she pretty much, the grandma, the grandmother-in-law, she pretty much died during a miscarriage and because of the loss of blood, right? And, and because she was not saved, because she rejected God, she was going straight down to the lake of fire, man. That's some scary stuff. And and glory to God because even that, God gave her another chance. And she called out to Jesus. She said, Jesus, help me. And God came to her rescue. And she was back in her body. And ever since that, she pretty much got saved. And I know some of you guys are skeptical of these testimonies. But as the Bible says, if they didn't believe Moses and the prophets... They won't even believe someone that has come back from the dead. So, some of you are skeptical. And and I want to tell you, I know the afterlife is real. Because I personally, I too have had out-of-body experiences. And God has revealed himself to me. I'll include a link to some of those testimonies down below. So, if you're curious as to what I'm talking about when I say God has revealed himself to me and how I saw God... You can check out those testimonies and, and we see and the interesting thing, thing about near death testimonies is that we hear testimonies, even Muslims that when they die and they come back, they say Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth and Jesus is the life. Even Muslims testify that Christianity is true and that's what that's what we get from near death testimonies. Like a Muslim that hasn't even heard the gospel, they die and they come back and they say, the gospel is true, the gospel is true, and he didn't know before. And like Buddhists and Hindus, when when they die and some of them, they get a chance that they come back, they say, look, Christianity is true, you got to convert, you got to convert, you got to believe in Jesus, right? And a Buddhist or Hindu that hasn't even read the Bible, how, how, would, how would they know that? How would they describe Christianity when they come back, when they haven't even heard about Christianity? That just shows that Christianity is the truth, that and that... Everyone who has died and come back, they testify that it's true because it is. Christians don't die and come back and say Islam is true or Buddhism is true because Christianity is true. Christians die and come back and say everything we believed was true. And even atheists, when they come back, they said, man, I was so wrong. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. And, they, and, we, and we see conversions in those testimonies, like testimonies like this, the grandmother of how she was headed down for a lake of fire. These testimonies will bring people to Christ because these people have actually, they were given another chance. God had mercy on them. And even though they died momentarily, God brought them back. And I believe one of the reasons he does that is that so these people can testify to the world that they can testify to what they experienced. And these testimonies can glorify God and these testimonies can bring people to God. So so I, I want to remind you guys, heaven is a real place. Hell is a real place. I ask you this, when you die, do you know where you're going? 
I want to encourage you guys to get safe today and get safe today. Get safe, get safe today. And if you already consider yourself a Christian, repent of your sins. Turn away from your sins. Don't play around with your eternity. Your eternal soul is the most important thing that you own. And don't lose your soul. Don't lose your don't don't lose your soul to the devil. Turn to God today. Thank you for listening. All glory to God. God bless.